35 took one, one took one, 23 took one. EMS ops to transport sector. Five transported and one waiting at this time. Lima 214, Air 1 on track one. I don't know, this is our stop at this road and we were getting off the bus and I, I think we were getting off the bus and then I, we just, I went flying and then when I, like, I think I went unconscious or something because when I opened my eyes there was smoke everywhere and everybody was trying to get off the bus and I just got off and then we kept looking back at the bus and I couldn't see my sister or my brother so nobody was getting on to get them so uh, my mom came running because she was at the bus stop to pick us up and um, she ran on the bus to grab them off and they just went to the hospital. We were about to stop, we were going like five miles an hour and then Justina, Josh and Natalie were about to get off the bus and the semi just hit us at, at least going 50 to 60 miles per hour. She had a knee pain, back pain, neck pain, she was actually the driver of the bus. Okay. The bus was stopped. Absolutely dead stop is what I understand, and this truck just plowed into the back of it and drove them at least 100, I mean 50 yards, 150, 200 feet, and then I guess it just burst into flames, and the, the kids in the back of the bus, I, I don't know who was there, but uh, they just, I mean the last four or five seats are just crushed. So it's no break, sign of breaking at all, and uh, our kids never stood a chance. Uh, we do have one confirmed fatality. Um, and we have a total of eight people that were sent to the hospital, uh, were transported to hospital, six of which were students. And they started pulling kids out of the bus. There were four of them, and they kept trying to go back and get more and more kids, and they said finally it just got too hot. They couldn't pull any more kids out. They, had a, they know there was a kid that was trapped in the back, and they just couldn't get him or her out. I'd say they probably got at least half of our kids off the bus themselves. So they were, I don't know where they are, but those guys were heroes. Yeah. It's it was exploding, exploding and fully engulfed. It was fully engulfed in five minutes. And the semi driver, he never hesitated. He never stopped. Um, he just barreled right into him. And uh, I talked to the driver after we got the kids and everything off the bus and made sure everybody was being taken care of. I seen him standing off the side and I noticed he was bleeding and everything. And I asked him, I said, uh, what happened? Did you see the bus? And he said he never saw the bus. No, not a hero. We do for what God intended us to do, help our fellow man. And I would hope every man out here in this world would see an accident like that, would do that for any man. I don't care man, woman, no matter what color, we should all help each other.